This morning on Today in Depth, home sweet home reimagined. <laughs> Since the pandemic began, as we've witnessed, home prices have risen at the highest rate in 15 years, with so many people reconsidering where they want to live. That's right. But this morning, there may be a cost-effective solution, and the answer could be a 3D printer. No joke. NBC's Kathy Park shows us how it works. For decades, home builders have used hammers, nails, and concrete to put houses together. Printers were used for, well, printing. But now those two worlds are colliding. Home building has a whole new look, thanks to a 3D printer, unlike anything you've seen before. Just like you pick the house designs you want and you push print. Companies like Icon are creating homes from the ground up with their massive printer and a special concrete formula. For folks who may not understand the concept of 3D printing, what does it look like? What does it entail? So 3D printing is taking a digital file of a house design and layer by layer depositing material to build up the house in three dimensions, one layer at a time. Unlike traditional homes, which can take weeks or even months to frame, here the walls and foundation can be ready in less than two days with a three to four person crew bringing down production costs to as little as $4,000 per home. Aside from all the like efficiencies of automating construction uh, with regard to time and cost, concretes are an inherently resilient material. This more cost-effective construction could help make homes nationwide more affordable in the face of a changing climate. My hometown's been destroyed multiple times by hurricanes and tropical storms. I've spent Christmas in a FEMA trailer. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure because it takes a lot of money, a lot of time. It eviscerates a town over time to try to recover from disaster after disaster. Icon built the nation's first community of 3D homes in Austin to uplift the chronically homeless. Tim Shea was the first person to move in. I could never have imagined from where I came from that I would ever have this beautiful a place to live in. I'm so Thankful. And these homes are just starting to hit the mainstream market. In Long Island, SQ4D constructed the first 3D printed home for sale to the public. We're trying to build houses uh, in half the time for half the price. Our profits will be higher and we will be able to show that with more projects that we do. A 1,400 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home built in two days using 3D printing technology. Listed for just under $300,000, it's approximately half the cost of a comparable home in the same area. Area, and offers came in by the thousands. We've been looking since September of last year. It's just impossible to find anything at this price. And this quality. How are 3D homes shaking up the housing market right now? 3D printed homes couldn't have come at a better time. We have a housing shortage and a labor shortage, and 3D printed homes really solve both those problems. Homes of the future, now a reality, as companies look to scale up with 3D. For today, Kathy Park, NBC News. Wow, that just completely blew my mind. And to think also it's helping people who've been displaced. Yeah, no doubt. I was going to say there's going to be a lot of conversations you can imagine right now. We'd like a third bedroom. Print. Print, right? please. If only it were that easy. Make yeah. life pretty good these days. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.